This is a, a design of one of my friends, Rob Passal, who's a brilliant designer in New York City. And I love how he brought this coral um, to the wall in a pastel sort of way. The green's maybe a little darker than pastel. It's really that wall kind of tone that starts setting the, the pastel idea in motion here. Um, but it's a really fun way to just mix things up, to bring in powdery blues and powdery corals and maybe even pinks. And I think it's why we're seeing a lot of the lavenders. And um, so, you know, thinking of how you might start to embrace those colors, pink, peach, aqua, mint green. Uh, we're going to see specifically some of those pulled out, plucked out as a trend on their own in a few more in a few minutes. But let's look at, let's go back to our Pinterest board. We're going to hop around again and look at um, what pastels look like in the world of interiors and beyond other product. So for me, let's look at that image I just had pulled up of the um, pencils. There's something that's so fresh to me about pastels. Look, these almost even fall into the neon and pastel palette, a few of those, because they're real punchy. But it's, there's something so sweet and almost like candy that I love. It's sort of like the Tiffany box that's set blue. That, isn't that, that's just a color that people are drawn to. There's something about it maybe that's a little bit daring because most of us don't embrace these kind of color palette, colors in our home. So let's take a look at what, it, what that might uh, look like in an interior. This is even almost to that um, mauve of the 80s, which was my most hated color uh, at that time period. And I even find myself seeing mauves done in a beautiful sort of way. Uh, mixed, this is mixed with a gorgeous gray granite. So um, it's just a little bit uh, more updated than we maybe envision mauve. Let's look Daddy, at this. Do you think that the pastels to a degree alienate men? Hmm. Um, not necessarily. I mean, they do sometimes have a little bit of a feminine appeal, but it depends on how you use them. Um, do y'all feel like that this room is a, is is too feminine for um, well, men it. to be comfortable um. <laughs> in? You know, um, there's some smart decisions here that I think help make this not too feminine. The walls aren't pink; they're more of like a beige or gray color. But these great flannel chairs right here um, in the gray really help support and complement the pink on the sofa. Yeah, I just did a a, a bedroom recently. Uh, in all sorts of lavender and purple shades. And that was one of the questions. And I was like wondering when we did the presentation uh, as a married couple, if he would have a problem with it. And I was so happy when they came into my office for their presentation and he walked in in a pale purple shirt. And I was like, well, this is really a good <laughs> sign because I knew it could be, it could go either way. Uh, Cause I hadn't really given them a clue of what I was going to uh, bring to them. So yeah, maybe, I mean, it's definitely, it depends on your, um, as I was saying earlier, sort of your set of life experiences, because there are certain people that associate pink or other soft colors as being really feminine. And there's other people that are really comfortable um, with it. Let's look at this one. Ooh and ah over Jamie Drake's closet he did for a show house. That's tones of pink and lavender. Um, and it, I mean, there's definitely, I mean, it, a, a feminine sense about this. It's a woman's closet. But I could also see those colors on a wall mixed with rich charcoals or other tones that could have a really, really rich layered look that was not really a feminine space at all.